Today's guest will literally be able to share her story as she's just written her first children's book, which is based off of her journey when she was young. She is the captain of the Australian Diamonds Netball team, has won the Liz Ellis Diamond Award twice, and last year led her country to a Commonwealth Games gold medal. I've also been told that she loves Aero Mint chocolate and likes to squish bugs when she walks. Let's find out if that's all true as I welcome Liz Watson. Thanks so much Hello. for chatting with me. <laughs> um, hi, Abby. I really want to know who told you those facts because <laughs> I do love Aero Mint chocolate. Yeah, possibly your teammates, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, course. I'm super excited to chat to you today. So yeah, your teammate shared that information about you squishing bugs. What's that all about? I don't know. I think she thinks when I walk, I like twist my feet. So she thinks I'm squishing bugs. I didn't <laughs> notice it until she said it. Hmm, so maybe she's noticed something that you don't even realize yeah, that you do on I purpose. So. I think it's had a Monday, to be honest. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to tell you something. I actually bought your book recently and I've, you know, I've been, as soon as I opened it, I've just started reading it, although it's possibly based for an audience a bit younger than me. But yeah, when I picked it up, I just couldn't start reading it. And I think it's just really good, you know, because it kind of shows your journey from when you were young and you kind of had the same, you know, you started out um, kind of playing when you were 12 years old and you play the same positions as me, which I thought was really cool. What kind of made you want to write this book, especially something that's so personal, you know, about yourself? Yeah, oh, thank you so much for that. Um, I guess it's more, it's a, I guess a children's book, but it pretty much is the exact same story of how I started playing netball. The characters are real. Uh, my mum and my dad, my two brothers, my best friend, Katie, she's still one of my good friends um, who got me into netball. And I guess it was just a way of showing that, yeah, I started netball a bit later. I was playing lots of basketball before that. So I guess it's more for um, to kid, for kids to encourage, um, you know, to get out there and play sport, but also just to encourage Kids who love netball and sport just to get into reading. Um, I am studying primary school teaching, so it's part of that. Um, and including you, I've been pretty lucky enough to interview quite a few captains of Australian sporting teams, and they all seem to be a bit different in, I guess, how they lead. What do you think makes a good leader? Well, I think it's someone who just brings out the best in everyone and someone who does their thing, but also can allow an, an opportunity or an environment for people to step up and, and lead as well. We call it shared ownership. Everyone in the squad has the responsibility. You're a diamond now, you still need to lead. So I think it's just creating that environment that people can do that. And then just going out there and, and having fun. We speak about creating moments and memories, and that can be on the court, obviously, but also off the court, because we do remember our time together with all the funny things that happen off the court, not all the games. So um, yeah, create a really relaxed environment that people can just be themselves, have fun, and then perform really well. Are there any parts of being a leader which I guess weren't really natural for you and you've kind of had to like learn and work on over the years? Yeah, it's probably um, using my voice a little bit more and actually, um, you know, I love to, I don't want to be the bad cop in any situation and tell people, you know, there, there are times though where we do need to really concentrate if we are mucking around a bit too much or things aren't going well. So, I think it's been able to find the enjoyment and fun when things aren't going well. Because obviously when you're, you're winning and you're playing well, generally the group's really happy and everyone's enjoying their time. Um, it's more when things are going a little bit tough and um, whatever it may be, just how we can still have that fun and, and bring out the best. As the captain of the national team, what kind of message and example do you and the team, I guess, aim to set for young girls? Yeah, we want girls to just stay in sport, I guess, and just be active as much as they can. And, and you would know with all the amazing females that you've spoken to is how, you know, whatever sport it is, we want girls to be playing. And we know that the older that girls get, the more that they just sort of drop out on sport or just stay active in general. So I guess, yeah, we are netballers and that's what they see us as, but we also want to be really good role models with all the things that we do off the court as well and, and how having that balanced life is going to create the best version of yourself. So um, I guess we're very lucky in our position to be able to play every single week with our state and then go away with our country and represent your country. It's kind of crazy to say it like that because you kind of forget that how many little girls like yourself are out there playing at netball every single week and we're the ones who get to go and play for our countries. Just finally, netball has obviously given you some pretty amazing opportunities. Is there anything left on your bucket list that you would like to do while you have this profile? Oh, I think... Obviously, a gold medal at a World Cup will be pretty incredible. Um, that's probably the next goal. Um, and I think just to play for as long as I can when I am enjoying it. And I guess for me, it's when I stop enjoying netball or feel like it's, you know, 
I guess like a job or like a, you know, I think that's the time to know that I'm, it's probably time to step away, but I do love it so much. I'm having so much fun, really supportive team um, at the Diamonds as well. Um, so yeah, I've been very lucky with all my experiences with netball. I feel like I've been spoiled with everything I've been able to do. So we'll see how we can go for how much longer. Well, those are all of my questions for today, but thank you so much for joining me, Liz. And everyone, remind to grab a copy of Liz's book because it's pretty awesome. Thank (laughs) you. Thanks so much. Thanks for listening. To support Herway, visit the link in the description section.